We have seen that the context menu is a quick and easy way to edit a design. Simply right click on part of the ungrouped object or hold the Alt key down and right click on an object of a group design. You can see all the choices for editing that appear in the context menu. This is a quick way to open up object properties. You can also group or ungroup, cut, copy, paste, duplicate, duplicate with offset, delete, mirror, rotate, align in space, lock, unlock all, hide selected, hide unselected, unhide all, zoom to selected, copy object properties, and apply object properties. In this video, I will focus on some of those options we haven't previously discussed. The context menu provides a quick way to zoom into part of a selected design. Just right click and click on Zoom to select it. Sometimes zooming in is necessary to make editing much easier. If I select an object and right click and select cut, this will place the selected part of the design on the clipboard. If I paste, the object returns to the design, however the order is changed. Cutting can be a quick way to change the stitch order of a design. Cut is used in place of delete because delete will remove the item and it is not on the clipboard. The only way to get it back is to click on undo. Again, always check the stitch order in color film and rearrange objects if needed. One thing that is only found in the context menu is copy and apply object properties. Select the part of the object you wish to copy and right click and select copy object properties. Next, select the object that you want to transfer those properties to, right click and select apply object properties. Notice that the lacework fill was transferred, but the color of the object was not, nor was the stitched outline around the design because that was not part of the selected properties. If you are familiar with Format Painter in Office products, this feature in the software works much like Format Painter.